Hello everyone, this is a compilation of me fighting a few bosses in Dark Souls. This is the first boss on my first character. I'm here with uh, Salted Almonds 15. I read the message that said go up, so um, up I was going to go. Um, it was kind of... I didn't really understand what was going on at this time. I, I thought it was... I, I'd read, because this doesn't happen in Dark Souls 3, which again is the only one I've ever completed, that... Um, you know, when you go through a fog wall in Dark Souls 1, it may or may not be a boss. Whereas in 3, it's always a boss. So I was kind of, I was like, oh, maybe this is just, um, an area, that, you know. Maybe this is just an area where you just walk through. And then I, like, it said, try plunging attack, and I was like, what, what's going on? So I was, I was thinking that maybe Mr. Mister Almonds over there would, you know, if there was a boss, was going to set it off. But nothing happened when he got over there, so I assumed, oh, well, if that's fine, I'll, it'll, it'll be safe, off we go. And, um, as we're going, all the way over here, that thing comes up, so I immediately just go, well, fuck this, and I run away. This is the dear old Taurus demon. And I didn't, I, 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 I knew it was going to be chasing me, but I didn't realize it was going to be as fast as it was. And yeah, so it just m barely misses me. Barely misses me. And good old Almonds over there d shows me what to do. So I was like, oh sweet, I can do this. Immediately fuck it up. Because, you know, that's the kind of Dark Souls player I am. And yeah, so I, I just sort of like, start giving him a jab with a spear. And yeah, well, <laughs> it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it, I see that it's not very going very well. So I decide, you know what, I'm... I'm gonna try a plunging attack again. I'll, I'll try this. I'll try this. This will be good. You know, if I pull this off, it'll be good. It'll be good. So here I am. I go for a run up and I jump and I manage to somehow get it. Um, yeah. And then it just carries on like this. I, I do not do well. I, as you can see, get absolutely hammered by the fucking thing. And yeah, it's. I don't know how I managed to beat this boss. I'm pretty sure I only beat this boss because dear old Almonds um, was just, you know, oh I, I didn't realize how close behind me he was when I climbed back up that ladder. But the only reason I beat this boss is because Almonds is keeping him busy. Like, I'm, I'm being 100% honest. That's the only way he got beaten. And I, I don't know why I took another Estus. I didn't really need to, but... There we go. See, he's trying to fight Almond, so I'm jumping on his head, trying to give him a good, you know, what to. Yeah, so it's 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 kind of interesting. Um, the, you'll notice that this character this character is not the same as all my um other, as my other character because I got so far. I, I got in, you know, with this character I only got so far, and then I had to I had to stop. I couldn't progress any further because I had just done shit so shit. But anyway, here's the second boss with my second character. Um, and honestly, this this boss fight ha lasts all of about 10 seconds. I'm here going, fuck, I'm about to die. So I take a drink, and I'm like, shit, this dog's gonna, you know, these dogs are gonna fuck me up. I'd summon some guy, and I didn't even, ri there we go, Hishnik. I'd summoned him, and he just walks in, three, s just slaps that demon across the cock three times, and it dies. So I was pretty happy about him doing that for me. Now this is the uh, this is the gargoyle boss, and um, <coughs> this is my first attempt. Um, I couldn't find any like actual player character summons, so um, I thought I'd royally fucked myself there. I was like, oh my god, Solaire's walked up behind me, and I everything's fucked. I thought I was gonna have to like fall off the fucking. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to fall off and you know come all the way back up here again. So, uh, yeah, like, I honestly thought I was just gonna, you know, have to... <laughs> I really thought I'd screwed myself there. But, this is, um... This was an interesting, interesting boss battle for me. Um, I tried skipping the cutscene, but it wouldn't let me. I assume, I, I just assume I can't skip the cutscene first time. And I apologize if you can hear my dog in the background. He's just being a complete dickhead at the moment and won't shut the fuck up. Alright, so here I am trying to fight the Bell Gargoyle, and as you can see, I'm doing literally piss all damage to it. 25 damage, oh yeah, great. Um, Solaire's, I, I was pretty much going to do what I normally do for boss fights and let the NPCs just deal with it, and I just sneak in, give a quick slap to the ass cheeks, and then run away again, but I'm pretty sure Solaire dies in this boss fight, and then I get fucked.
as you can see, um, I'm just as I'm doing my tactic of letting good old Solaire deal with it whilst I just run around blocking, slapping the thing in the ass cheeks. That's pretty much all I do. And, th and then halfway through, I didn't realize that another one came in. So I saw that second health bar and I was like, the fuck is this shit? So <laughs> here I am panicking, going, oh fuck, now there's two of them I have to worry about. I really hope Solaire helps me here. And um, we get our asses kicked. Like, as a, so I, you know, I'm doing my usual thing, slapping his ass cheeks whilst he's trying to fight Solaire. Solaire's taking fucking giant damage. Um, promptly dies, as he would, because I'm not being very helpful. And I'm just going, I, I'm thinking to myself at this point, how the fuck am I meant to defeat to both of these? And then, right as I thought, you know what, I might have the, I, I might have a good tactic here. Uh, no. No, the fire just fuck, they, they fuck me with fire, basically, so I die. So, yeah, um, that, that, that wasn't a very fun boss fight, not at all. So this is, this is my second take of it. Um, so as I, I managed to work my way back up here, summon Solaire again, pick up my souls, because I actually, you know, funnily enough, in this game, the souls themselves aren't interesting to me. Um, I find that I'm more worried about l losing the humanity rather than losing the souls. And I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just like souls aren't a big thing for this game. And... As you can see, we're doing a fair amount of damage this time around. I have no idea how. I haven't upgraded. I, I hadn't upgraded my sword at all. I hadn't really leveled up. I'd literally come straight up here. So I don't know what was going any, what was doing any different. I don't know how I was doing any different damage, but I was. So I was thinking to myself, oh my god, I hope Celeste survives this. So, so I, you know, I want to get rid of this one gargoyle, and then we can just focus on one. That would be great. But I here, I, I've honestly thought I'd been fucked by the fire there. But Solaire finishes off the one gargoyle I was really happy about. And I shit myself at that point. I thought I was falling off the edge. I thought I was thinking to myself, fuck me, I'm going to die. So, here we are. I'm hoping that I... I'm pretty sure Solaire tanks for me. I'm pretty sure he dies again. Um, because, once again, he's doing all... Oh, no, he survives. But, yeah, he basically tanked for me. And I just sort of sat around slapping the ass cheeks of the gargoyle. So yeah, here's the uh, first video of the uh, bosses that I fought in <laughs> Dark Souls 1. And uh, stick around for when you see me fail miserably at fighting the other bosses. See ya.